Hey. Woo. Hi. You know, you were wearing that blanket. Not that one with the cr cream colored one in a bunch of videos. Mm -hmm. And people were like, Whitney can make anything look chic. Oh my God. Uh, stop <laughs> it. Like a sweater. It did. Or like a. Oh, I was wearing yeah. it across my. Oh my God. Stop it. Also. You guys are going to give me a big head. No, they never will. But in more awesome things about Whitney, as I was telling you the other night, people loved when you like talked yourself up. Uh -huh, you know? Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm doing that a lot more. I am. Everything that I'm doing, I was telling Annie is currently working. The bangs are definitely <laughs> working for me. They're definitely giving me some energy and confidence that I didn't know I had. Yeah. Silly what hair can do for you, you know? If I'm not happy with my hair, I'm not happy. Yeah, like how good is a good hair day? It's good. Uh, <laughs> I just have to figure out how to do them myself because I haven't done that yet. Like how to style them? Yeah. What happened here? I scraped my my forearm on a succulent we have outside on a cactus actually and when it first happened it hurt so badly but nothing was on my skin like no scratch and i remember i was showing you and i think it was like that small and and you were probably like oh my god whitney <laughs> like calm down but maybe it had like a little poison or something that made it hurt way way worse than it looked. Uh huh. I thought I got a thorn stuck in my skin, but anyways, that's what happened. It's really not a big deal, but it stung. You also hit your funny bone really bad. <laughs> oh, that was so painful. I almost <laughs> threw up. <laughs> I was with Sunny and I hit my funny bone walking in the house from outside, and I literally it hurt. It hurt so bad. I almost puked. Ugh. Damn. Yeah. And you're tough. I was, I like, like, you're not a wimp. You're just really clumsy. Uh, exactly. I was like, Sunny, go get dad. It was just, and <laughs> then exactly. you're like, are you okay? I'm like, it's my funny bone. You're like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hurt myself. And you have nothing to be sorry about. Mm -mm. I'm excited to watch. Yeah, we'll get into it in one second. I just want to talk about that, like, dot and that was in my ear in the last video. I had, oh, like, yeah, a you saw it. I didn't dirt. see it. Yeah. Ew. Um, uh, Ew. Yeah, that was bad. I apologize. Uh, it was a fuzz. It was a piece of fuzz in the video, the last video. I don't know, maybe mm. whatever you just picked out there. Like what you have in your belly button, you had a little bit in your ear. <laughs> I don't know exactly what was in my ear, but it's distracting and disgusting. And I'm sorry. You should have blurred it the whole time. Two words. We're having Sunny's birthday party this weekend. His fourth birthday party, which he's so excited for. Dear Sunny. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. One last wish. Yeah. Yay. Oh, my beard. I feel like it's I'm um, continuing to grow it. It looks really good. It's very long. I know it's long here and stuff. I love it. All right, are we ready to party? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Previously on the Screeviously. My birthday was a little more eventful. Oh yeah, the boat and Heidi. Right, she's still on the show. Thanks to Steph, Heidi showed up. Oh, Hi! Happy birthday! Spencer had a guy's night out. What gets you up on the bar dancing? And it did not end well. Oh right. Hitting on the bartender? Yeah, you are, aren't you? Oh, oh uppercut. Yo, 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 yo. I had to say I told you so about Spencer. Oh. Yeah, I got him a butt. He's oh. He's an awful He has person. like fighting skills too. Do. I think this is even before his like jujitsu uh hobby. Yeah, but I, I'm I'm pretty sure like in high school and he was always like a He'd like to get in the fight. Yeah. But how do I mean boxing. To get to the bottom of it herself. On his Oculus? I don't think Oculus existed. Oh my god, look at that big bottle of ranch. <laughs> hey. Ooh, look at that sweater. What I have to say will be pretty short. First, let's begin with the fact that I think it was totally uncool that you took Heidi to Lauren's party when she wasn't even invited. Since I didn't put a bag over Heidi's head and kidnap her and take her. She wanted to go. And just because we went to a birthday party, it didn't mean that you had to go out and- There's nothing to do with it. Hitting where, on bartender? No, where do you get off reading a text message without checking with me? So you go to a bar and you get drunk and you punch someone? What if he was just lying, making up the whole thing? But he wasn't lying. But that's, we're not, at a club but that's not the point. It's like, who does that to their brother? Obviously, we know who you have no loyalty. Who does that to their girlfriends? Does what? Sir? It shows me your loyalty to our family. 
again. Spencer, you don't have it. This loyalty I'm not calling thing is you a sister so anymore. Yeah, loyalty thing yeah. is old. It's very Trump to be like, are you loyal? Right. Like, will you never say what's right and wrong? Right. Because we are family. I need that because I'm going to do some wrong stuff. Exactly. I don't know what accent I'm doing for him right there. He just wants someone, he just wants them on his side regardless of if it's right or wrong. Red flag. If I was a therapist, I'd be a millionaire with how many conversations I have with Heidi. Don't talk to Heidi. You're so obsessed with the idea of loyalty that you have completely abandoned all of your friends, including your sister. Do you think you know any of the people in my life? Because you're not even in my life. You don't have any other friends. She went to your wedding. She was the only one at your wedding. What are you going to do when you're single? If I, you and Heidi don't when work am I out. I'm getting single. Get your own life okay. figured out, and then you can give me advice. OK. okay? Just leave. That was already on my way out. Oh Thank you. Oh, my god. Have a nice, single, lonely life. Ah. Mm, I mean... She's got a grasp on this a little bit. Yeah, she knows what's going on. And, like, Spencer deserves to have someone be like, like, fine, get out of my life. But then she's like, I don't want my brother out of my life. Right, like, can right. Can just have a relationship I know. Why can't we bro? just talk about it in a civilized way? Yeah, can we just, just take it down a notch? And notes for Scotch. What's Scotch? Isn't Scotch like a Canadian thing? Oh no, a Scotch. It's like a little slow bit. It. We should ask Dan Levy. People are always like, you should have Dan Levy on. I'm like, yeah, let me call, let me call him. Let me call him. <laughs> I actually just messaged with Jessica Krukshank this morning, who was the co-host to Dan Levy. Oh yeah, that's what people say. Oh, yeah. They're like, you need to have them on the after show. Like the after show was. I didn't watch the after show. I I hardly watch it either, but we should watch the People after were like, shows. it was amazing. And like, they were so good. Maybe we should react to the after show. That would be funny. Or just Bonus. watch them on our own time. Well, might as well just. Might as well just film them. Just film. <laughs> All right. Everything happens for a reason. These are the hills, really. Those, that was be of the Hollywood hills. You know what? I feel like I don't really expect presents anymore when I go to birthdays. Neither do I. I don't know. I don't like expect them. So when I get presents, I'm like, Ooh. you brought you a present. Good morning, sunshine. No one got you. Present. And last night, everybody. <laughs> um, I liked that all my friends got together and planned. Oh, this is the night after. So did you like that your party was on a boat? It was a good idea in theory. It was. Well, situation reversed. How stoked would you be? You were basically crying half of the time on the boat. Sweet. What'd you do on your birthday? I cried. Heidi showed up. Oh, man. You guys were, like, reminiscing on back in the day. No, and... we weren't reminiscing. Does someone explain to me how that came to be? I feel like she invited herself. I'm sure herself. Stephanie was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to Lauren's party tonight. I just don't want to be put in that situation because it makes me upset. Uh, we didn't put you in that situation. Who put me on the damn boat? You, you know, know, we had a good <laughs> guest list minus the one the one. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Oh. Oh, Ooh, she's, she's confronting gone. Stacy. <gasps> Hello. I want to go to that place so badly. You think they're open during the day? Anyway, let's keep going. Good to meet you. Um, this might sound like a little crazy. Mm -hmm. My fiance was here the other night. I don't know if you remember Spencer Pratt. Oh, the fighter. Spencer. Yeah. yeah. He's the one with the camera crew. <laughs> I got a message. He was like sitting here flirting with you. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Number. And yeah. I just want to know, like, if that was your man, you wouldn't care. I mean, I would. I would care. Yes. You would care. I didn't know he had a girlfriend. I didn't know what the occasion was. I had no idea. But it's like, yeah, he asked me if, like, I was to dance in the bar right now. If like, what? Well, what could I do to make you dance on this bar right now? So it was more like asking me little questions like that that it made me feel really weird about it. I cannot believe he was saying stuff like that to you. So he's, like, he's, like, trying to be mad at Stacy, and then, like, she's trying to, like, pivot it as Stacy's like just giving her the details to Spencer. She was like, wouldn't you be upset? I oh, he did that? <laughs> I'm mad at him now. Oh, I cannot believe it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know I if it's alcohol even or it's just him. It doesn't matter if it's it alcohol weird. or anything. You don't say stuff like that. No. Like, you know, I was about to marry this man. 
I wouldn't be happy with my boyfriend or a man I was going to marry to act that way. Right. Because I couldn't take lying or flirting with other girls and not having to look stupid in front of your friends. Yeah. Should we just call me stupid? With that. Wow. Oof. Yeah, she kind of came in hot and Stacey just was like, no, no, no. Yeah, this is what like, really I happened. Do sh I don't even know you people. <laughs> Here you go. I didn't think what Spencer did was horrible, but I guess asking what she could do to dance on the bars. What gets you to dance on the bar? Yeah. I mean, like... It's not like... Given that they're that they're married and this is a TV show and who knows what was produced and what wasn't, yeah. like, it, it does probably fall into the realm of, like, harmless flirting. Yeah. But who knows? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hello, dear. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> Just don't even want to keep fighting about something that I don't believe I did, so. Well, I went and I talked to that bartender. Was that fun or what? <laughs> oh, way out of line. Are you going to look at me or are you just going to text? Are you still talking about this bartender? And she said that if she were in my position, she would be livid. And at one point at the night, you were like, what do I have to get do to get you to dance on the bar right now? Whatever you were saying to her. I don't remember saying that. No, nope. it's definitely on <laughs> camera. How dare you disrespect me like that? Yeah, I flirted with a bartender. That's the end of the world, right? But the reality is you don't even trust me a little bit. I didn't even have a chance you to had trust to go, you on You had to go meet with a stranger because another stranger told you, you told I did something. You told me I should. You I said, didn't say yeah, that. That's I said, fine. do whatever you want. I can't believe you're turning this all around There's no way me. to turn around. For the last three years, I've been stuck to your hip 24-7, and I've never even been around another female even. Oh, so I'm depriving you no, I'm of being that... around other women and seeing other women. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. OK, well, I think maybe you should spend a lot more time away from me then. Why don't you make sure you have your guy nights out and your whatever you want to do? Because I'm going to go to Colorado, have some time to think and figure out what we're going to do. Great. Have a great trip. Mm. Mm. Tell your mom I said hello. Oh. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I mean, imagine the the people at home watching the show who like really think everything is a hundred percent real, just being. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what I'm feeling right now, <laughs> and like I can't even tell what's real and what's not because they look no, like they I have some either. venom in their eyes, I can't and either. like yeah. she got glassy for a second, and he looks really heated and upset. I just like there's reality in there, mm -hmm. which is like the meat of it, and that's what made the show good was that there was always some sort of reality in there. So Heidi is upset and basically Spencer is not copying to anything and trying to put it back onto her. She's mm -hmm. saying like, I'm breakup is on the table, yeah. Spencer. Yeah. Let's your move. And he's like, fine, go. Right. And he's like, I'm not, I'm not calling your bluff. Or I'm calling your bluff. <laughs> I'm, I'm calling your bluff. Go, yeah, go. Yeah, go, go, go. You'll come, you'll come back to me. What? Upgrade in their house. It's pretty. You know, MTV paid for that house. You think so? Hell yeah. I, that's not what she, where she lived before? They kept the same couch. Uh -huh. Looks like the same decorating. My flight was good. It was easy. Uneventful. Uneventful, unlike my today. life recently. <laughs> I wish my life was more uneventful. Mm -hmm. I'm so frustrated. I'm so sick of being frustrated. Maybe you should take a break. That's why I came here. <laughs> but um, I have some maybe good news that you'll be happy about. I went to Lauren's surprise birthday the other night. And I think she was kind of thrown off and not too happy about me being there. And I think she's just so frustrated. That Wait, she oh, that's not good news. I know, but I think she's about to say that. <laughs> she's and then she's going to say, but then, like, we had a talk and we cried. And, like, right, right. she feels like I chose Spencer. And... As the night progressed, you know, it really started changing, and it just felt like my old friend again. I know, those guys were your family. Yeah. It was such a good night, except Stephanie's ex-boyfriend texted Stephanie, like, Spencer's so shady, he's trying to get the bartender's number, and Spencer, like, hit him five times. No In the way. face, and he had to get stitches. That's horrible. 
That's not okay. None of it's good. Well, he's the common thread in every issue that you're having in your life. Everything is just like crumbling, you know. Well, it doesn't sound like everything's crumbling. It sounds like things are better with you and Lauren. That's huge. That's no. a big step. I didn't think. No, that. guys, that's probably the last time you ever saw her. Mm -hmm. unless, unless they make her film another scene with you. <sighs> I like this song. Love a good fabric store. Yes. Don't forget, we gotta fit them. Okay, pants out of this, or dress out of this. I don't know, Steph. That's... John's here, by the way. Mm -hmm. Aren't you being more helpful? We were like talking about like the family and like we were like, yeah, like Annie, Ophelia, Sonny, and someone in the comments were like, don't forget John. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually looking at the pool this morning. I was like, oh yeah, John's coming today. Like, Who's Peter? Where's John? <laughs> Scratty? Scratty. Three, two, hills. Skrillex. Do you think Rillex was going to be called Rillex? And then he was like, you know what's cooler? Skrillex. Mm -hmm. I do. I think so. And he added that SK. Um... It was a little more dramatic than I needed. You know, Heidi invited herself. How did she invite herself? Um, she was like, Lauren's having a party, I should come. You didn't think you should tell her that maybe my birthday wasn't the best time to come? What about SLS, when you went to her event? That wasn't her event, she works for a company that she threw She works for event. a bold house that threw a party and you went. Like, with of 50, course, 1,500 people, I wasn't going to Heidi's birthday party. Why can't you get along with her? I just, like, this is... Because I hate your brother ago. and she's marrying him. What are you talking about? about my brother? Like, okay. look at Heidi as her own person. I think it's really inappropriate for her to be there. I do. And I think that if you were really my friend, you would have been like, hey, don't go to her birthday. Maybe, you know, ask her to go to dinner. Why do the stakes have to be so high if you were really my friend? Yeah. Like, first of all, just objectively, I do think Stephanie should have known that Lauren would not want Heidi there. Of course. But not have to go to the whole... Mm -mm. You would never go to too threatening. Well, if I wouldn't go to a dinner with her, what makes you think I'd right. My All she wants is her best friend back. Stephanie, you have to stop. You have to stop pushing okay. it on me. I'm not kidding. Right. Okay. It's not fair to me. Let it go. It's not fair to force someone on someone else. I just... All right. Okay. Do you have your swatch? Mm. This is a real song. Mm. <laughs> It's nice with real songs. Oh my god, do you want to be in the club? Yeah. You know I do. Damn, sir. Wonder who he's texting if he has no friends and no job. This is so cute. <laughs> hey, baby. I like the sweatshirt over the shoulder. Yeah. Just hot out. What is this? But once a layer in case. The muse, homie. Well, thank you for returning my call, A. B, hearing my desperation. I, I cut the BS out. I'm here because you calling me, leaving me a message, telling me you are in some kind of desperate situation. I know we've had a little falling out in the past, but you are still my friend. I still consider you one of my friends. But what happened? You're one of them. So, she comes home, packs her bag, flies to Colorado. Is that where she is right now? Oh, yeah, to meet up with her mom, who hates me as much as uh, our good buddy LC does, if not more. Well, I mean, what does that say about your guys' relationship? It's bananas, homie. It's tr trust me. I, if I were you, I'd be pissed at Heidi. Oh, I'm totally on Good advice, Brady. <laughs> just rethink everything, because it's like, how are we supposed to continue on with the relationship? Or if, you don't, if you don't believe me. Over this dude. Over this random I guy. I just never even put it to that. Like, she's believing a random dude that dated your little sister who's bitter about them breaking up. You need to be like, fine, you know what? If you're not gonna trust me, fine, I'm out of here. Go out to the clubs a little bit, go hang out, go spread your wings, you're still 25 years old. If we were married right now, that'd be my well, wife. Well, that's why you can't put too many eggs in one basket. Go out and enjoy your life. You've been cooped up in this little, this little- I mean, part of it is right. I mean, I think like, at that time, sorry, you, yeah. you were there. Like the cooped up thing, like, yes, Brody, I think Brody's wanting him to get out and not be such like a shut in. But I guess it's like they are only, they're 25 year old dudes. I, I was gonna say, at the time, Brody yeah, doesn't want Spencer to get married so young, but mm -hmm. like he doesn't know that Spencer's guilty of everything okay. he's being accused of. Yeah. And therefore, it's not like a trust thing with Heidi. It's, it's not. like, what happened? 
He's making he's deflecting. Yeah, by changing it into a different different issue. story. Yeah, he's like Heidi doesn't. Yeah, yeah. And Brody over here sending him down the wrong path. Your video games and your things, and it's like you haven't got out. Go out with your guy friends. Call them a loser. Talk some chick. She just straight up left you. You're allowed to talk to whoever you want now, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, not that's Brody. not how not it Brody. works, dude. No, they're they're engaged. <laughs> she went home. She's just wrong. She didn't like take all of They're not broken up, Brody. You really misread that situation. Ugh, I bet this restaurant is delicious. Yeah, Timberline. Tim! Ah, you know, he's a, good, a really good cook, supposedly. Oh, great. I, I thought, since we had seen so much Darlene, maybe Tim and Darlene had broken up, so I'm really happy to see Tim back. Yeah, I think they're still together. Oh, he cool. has, Heidi always tags him in, in her when she goes home. It's like, Tim, Chef Tim eats, mm. or like, Chef Tim cooks. Well, he seems like a lovely, lovely man. <laughs> I am for reason. No, you're, my you're, bones are You're accustomed to that sunny California weather. Your blood does change. So, we missed you at Christmas I and know. at Thanksgiving. What? I haven't seen him in a long time. Didn't he used to date Colby? I think he was like my first boyfriend. I think it was your so, first yes. love. Uh, Such a nice boy. Yeah. He's got his act together, coming home, starting his own business at 22 years old. By golly, good for him. <laughs> He was asking yeah. about you. Oh, well, Mom, like, I'm married to this guy, Spencer. Heidi. Hi. No, is it him? How are you? I'm so good. No! <laughs> stop! This is too much. Hey, I thought you guys Christmas. would run into each other before now. This is amazing. I know. Guys... He's sitting? I know. I That's feel what... like... It's... Wait, did you guys know he was joining for dinner? <laughs> oh, my God! This happened in two minutes. <laughs> This is good producing, by the way. Like, you get Heidi home for this trip, and you're like, well, okay, what is she gonna do? Like, is there an ex-boyfriend we can find mm -hmm. and, like, you know, bring mm -hmm. in? Like, that's what would happen if this was a movie. This is a good idea. This is good producing. Yeah. I, I thought you guys would run into each other before now. This is amazing. I know. I know. I know. Um, thank you for having me. Set up or something. It's gotta be a God thing. I, yeah, we just came into town last crazy. night. You guys had a lot of great times together. We did. Good, strong Christian boy. Yeah. It's going to Colorado Christian. But I do remember you were the only one I would let her drive in the car yeah. with because I trusted you. Yeah. yeah. I remember that too. How fun. Good times. Sports? <laughs> <laughs> my gosh, you were the stud. Oh my god, she <laughs> loves him. It's like, Darlene, keep it in your <laughs> pants. Cut to She's Tim. Like, Cut to Tim. <laughs> like, used to wear that, that like onesie. Remember, Colby? Oh my god, I have one I in my wiped, purse. I Try wiped, it on. I wiped her dress. <laughs> Is that true? Be more, more <laughs> sad and thrilled right now. I love you, Colby. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Spencer is a purple belt in jujitsu. Really? Isn't that really hard? Yeah, as a matter of fact, he just got in a fight. Really? Yeah. Oh. Uh, are we still happy? Uh, uh, no. Spencer and my mom don't get along very well, mm -hmm. which is hard. For good reason. They kind of got off on the wrong foot. Yeah. So when are you getting married? I don't are know. You, you're engaged? No. Oh, so there's still hope. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Not Heidi's type. I'd like middle, please. You want middle? Want me to do over here? <laughs> oh, wow. Did you have fun at your party? Um, kind of. You tell me how awkward it was to have Heidi show up. I don't know what's more awkward is if she came or if that Stephanie brought her and didn't play. Don't even get me on the Stephanie <laughs> subject. Stephanie did invite her, didn't she? Stephanie told her about it, and then Heidi said she wanted to come. I mean, I'm like, did I miss, like, the step we took where we became best friends again? Yeah. Like, the issue that we had hasn't gone anywhere. And you want to know something even more awkward is that Spencer, I guess, you know, Heidi and him got this huge fight, Heidi left and went to Colorado. And I guess Spencer just obviously had nobody to call, so he decided to call me. I guess he's in a really bad place right now. I guess he doesn't know who to call. The thing that's craziest is that after everything that's gone down, the two people that they burned are the only two people they have to call. Yeah. 
it's after, also the other two stars of the show. Dead, two <laughs> people that they only have to call the two people they hurt, meaning Heidi can only call Lauren mm-hmm. and Spencer can only call Brody. Yeah. They, they hurt Brody? Yeah, because they blamed it on Brody. Remember, they blamed Brody. For the sex tape rumors? Yeah, yeah. Shit. Now you know the drops that's coming out now. No. That they actually are blaming Jason. Oh, yeah, I think you told me that two weeks ago. <laughs> but we still don't have any new confirmation. Uh, I'm not I don't think Jason in current, is going to. In current dramas. Yeah. As much as I am in past dramas. Yeah, I, I'm with you on that because I feel like there is a lot of current dramas. Crested Butte. Yeah. It's like <laughs> oh, it's in there. They're in Crested Butte. It's in the West. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's very Bob Ross painted. Yes. Mm-hmm. Where? Yeah, on the side of the little rhinestone. <laughs> oh, jeez. Big feather. Yeah, her look is crazy. Relaxing. And, you know. It was so great to see Colby last night. Oh, my God, Darlene. Relaxing. It's so funny. I haven't seen him in years. Well, everything happens for a reason. Maybe it's not a coincidence. Is that the name of the episode? Great. Mm-hmm. Love it when you come home. I feel like you get grounded again and you yeah. kind of remember. She's like not in the grounded way. In LA, you spend too much time with Spencer. I think he's the only one you spend time with. And that's why I'm so happy that you and Lauren are reestablishing your friendship. That's for you guys to have girl time. No, didn't you see the last thing? Like this power over me and he doesn't. It's like, I'm my own person and I always choose what I want and I always do what I want. And just because you spend time with someone doesn't mean that he like chooses things. That's probably true. But I do think that you're more influenced by him than you realize. Well, yeah. <laughs> and you're affected by all the choices that he makes in his life and his attitude and his personality. Like, you're the, the, like the, 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 your best friend, the girl you're trying to single white female won't allow it because of him. Like, no, I don't see the connection. Though. Like, yeah, it's not like you can just be an asshole and then I'm like, but I'm still the best person ever, so like everyone should still be okay with us. No, it does not work that way. Mm-hmm. Um, he's back, I think, at one stage. Oh my god, taking shots. I just need to drown it. That was a juicy line. Whew. It seems like every time you come here, we finish a bottle of tequila. So where, where's your girlfriend? Well, after she met up with you, she went straight home packed her bag and flew home to Colorado. Really? Yeah. Abandoned she me. asked you? Did didn't she even tell me if it, we were broken up, didn't tell me anything, just left. Wow. Well, I mean, I thought she was nuts. I don't know your relationship. I don't know what it's like. And just from what I see, it's kind of crazy. Ooh, Stacey's trying to get in the mix. Yeah. It's toast. It's, uh, no crazy girlfriend. Ooh. Spencer, bad idea, no? Yeah. Bad Go back idea. to the same place and do the same thing. Creates and fixes all of our problems. Next time is gonna be what? Is there gonna be a next time? I mean, it's up to you. I don't know. She's flirting with him. Huh? I think this is the end of the evening. I know. Kind of sad. Oh, what? She is trying to be a regular on the series. Ooh. Shut <laughs> Look at them, it's just like, ugh. Mm-hmm. And he's like. Sex? Sex? <laughs> I don't know. Mmm, mmm. I'm not mad at, are we in season five? Yeah, season five is juicy. Yeah. Bill. In the mix. Uh, next time. Oh, the season. season. Can you talk to her again? Are you seeing this bartender? I'm going out tonight. I can't even look at you. You're so sleazy. What the f- are you doing? Talking to my mom about Lauren and how much I miss her. You must have been for the show. More. I can't start getting into more drama with Lauren if I'm trying to get this job. People's rap. You're gonna have to take some kind of responsibility for having her here. Okay. And if she does up, I'm gonna make you fire. Oh my god, Stephanie goes to people's rev. I think she is too. Did you just say you did like Brody? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I've already said a little crush. Ooh. You're gonna go with Brody, aren't you? Maybe you should do it to get Justin back. He would get so jealous. Mm, evil staff. staff. <laughs> Audrina stayed with the breadster. Honestly, I don't even want to talk to you. You slept over. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's what's up. I asked her if she's okay. I don't know if and she's okay, and you yeah. shouldn't care if she's okay either. If I spent the night in Lauren's room like you did with Brody. I called you that night. No, you didn't. Yeah, you're lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. You're lying. 
Hey, Lauren, it's uh, Spencer calling to apologize. For the last two years and anything I've done that tore your friendship with Heidi apart. I mean, what's next, though? Really, like, what's next? For the first time in a long time, I really don't know. I wanted to give you an invite to the wedding to see if you did want to come. I don't fully get why you want me there. You're the best friend I've ever I'm, had. You're my single white female. Like, I, that has been established. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Really yeah. does. I know it is sad. Can you play the tiny banjo? <laughs>